Seth Christian Denny. It's Jake Wazakowski. When he was a little preschooler, he said, how do people get in the box? TV. So he found out how to get into the box. You're the greatest broadcaster ever in the history of this market. Thank you for being you. Really enjoyed you. It's always a good time when you're working with Seth. I think we're so blessed that we have a team that has been together for a long time. If you think his hair looks good, you should see his legs. They're really good looking. And as he's coming around the corner, he'd go, dee 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 What's happening, Captain? You and Colleen are the longest running co-anchor team in Nebraska TV history. You have been great both on and off the air. Seth Denny, here we are. I know everybody's probably saying this is an end of an era, but it truly is. He's like your favorite Nebraska casserole. He is a staple in Nebraska homes. You know, TV and Carney will never be the same without you. Because you're probably the greatest athlete in the history of McCook. Go Bisons! The man, the myth, and of course, the legend. Seth, you are one of a kind, and you have such a kind soul. A true gem in this industry. Oh, Seth Denny, we're gonna miss you. You are such an excellent storyteller. And I feel lucky to not have only crossed paths with you, but to also be able to call you a friend after all of these years. You're a man of integrity, you're a man of God. During the entire time that I was governor, you and Colleen were the number one newscast in Central Nebraska because you were fair, honest, responsible, and very professional. We know you missed a lot of family dinners over the past two decades, but hope you now get to spend a whole bunch more time with your wife and your family. Wow, it's cool. Very cool. Here we are. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. After 22 years at NTV, we've reached the last broadcast featuring Seth Denny. We have many things planned tonight to honor a person many have called the best in the business. Oh, wow, that's, no, no. <laughs> well, I've got him on tape. They say it. How are you feeling? Uh, thankful, grateful. Um, uh, just to, for the people that I've worked with and the, the viewers and uh, just with a grateful heart, I, I drove in today and just thought, mm. man, it's just been a, a good run. And just meeting the friends that I've had here through all these years. You know, I think about, you know, with you and Kent and Dave, it, it, it's been like family. You know, we go through ups and downs, and it's been been a good run. Man alive, at 616, I'm already getting... Reclimped a little, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's just uh, it's been good. It, this is this is a wonderful night. Yeah. Well, to get things started, we start with a look back. He was born on a Sunday uh, with induced labor, so we wouldn't miss part of a game. <laughs> Seth was um, born in Lincoln uh, when Doyle was uh, the coach at Wilbur Playtonia. We were moving occasionally. People offer him a job and we're moving instantly. There was quite some experiences there. He got a little scar on his chin. Doyle was a coach there. Got to meet a lot of people. Bill Jackman winning all these games. Then we went on to McCook. That's where he spent eighth grade in high school. And uh, he was a funny kid. I mean, he would come up with things and you really wanted to laugh and you thought, I'm the adult here. Maybe I should get upset. <laughs> I think we all realized early on that he'd, he'd be a performer of some sort, whether it was in the circus or on TV or something. He, he always had something that he was scheming up as far as a skitter was concerned, making us all just roll in the back seat of the station wagon. He was in band and drama, and he did a pretty good job. He had lead in a couple shows at Brighton Beach Memoirs and uh, on Golden Pond. One person that I, I always had uh, in my hip pocket for uh, a best friend when we moved was Seth. He was in football and, and track and basketball. He could shoot a perfect shot at the age of one. <laughs> His dad made sure he could, and he was, he was very good. He was really small, but he could really shoot the ball well. And 
I was the head boys track coach in McCook, and, and Seth was uh, one of one of my runners, and he was a sprinter. Yeah, he was a state champion in the four by one, uh, and he was a, a state runner up in the 400 meters. But his first love, of course, was always basketball, and uh, he went on to play for Hastings College. Seth came from McCook, which is just wonderful, to <laughs> Hastings College. And right away, I'm going to use an old school term. I recognized he was affable. He's definitely an affable guy. So I knew that when he went on to interview people, particularly not knowing whether he'd be a print or broadcast journalist originally, that he'd be great at. Hiring in regards to Seth, we, we had a kind of a family uh, ownership of, of KNOP TV in North Platte. Uh, so when we looked at hiring folks, we had to make sure they would fit into our family. Uh, Seth was one of those rare folks that immediately uh, became part of the family. Hi Seth, it's your old buddy Joe Swift. I can't believe you're leaving TV. We started our broadcast careers together 27 years ago, North Platte, Nebraska. I was a reporter. Seth was the sports director. When he told me he was leaving for NTV, I was about to get my dream job. I didn't want him to leave. We'd become such good friends. I can't remember. I think I was the one who called Seth, pitched to him uh, being a news anchor. And it took a little convincing, but uh, he decided to join our NTV staff at the time, and I thought it was great. When I think of uh, the impact Seth has had on uh, Central Nebraska over the course of his career, things he holds near and dear, like church and family, um, he's been able to tell the story of, of Central Nebraska, you know, through the lens of Central Nebraskans, I think. And I said, I think when people engage with you, uh, whether you're asking tough questions or maybe not such tough questions, they enjoy the experience or at least they know you're, they're ta you're taking them seriously and I think that's really important. He is somebody who demonstrates credibility and I think that has been the biggest key to his success. It, it was always a comfort uh, being able to watch him on TV every night. You know, you, you wish you could stop time sometimes they all grow up so fast but it's it's a blessing to to have your families doing well and succeeding in life it'll be a change with him not on the tv the only son i got to see every day <laughs> <laughs> and i think that uh, it'll be adjustment for everybody in ways that nobody even realizes that was really nice very nice. Well, now I'm very happy to welcome via Zoom the president of Hastings College, Dr. Rich Lloyd. Hey, Dr. Hey, Lloyd. Seth, how are you? I'm wonderful. What an honor to have you on. <laughs> well, we're honored to be with you tonight. We're coming from the Gray Center, Response News, so you're home for a while as well. And so we just want to say thank you from all of us at Hastings College for your many years of service to our communities and for the amazing way you've represented Hastings College as one of our graduates. And so tonight we want to honor you as Hastings College's 2021 Outstanding Alumni. Hmm. Boy, that thank you so much, Dr. Lloyd. That is a tremendous honor. Thank you so much, my friend. It's uh, my time there was so special well that this means a lot my goodness my time there was so special and it um, created the the baseline from for what I was as a, as a broadcast I really got the love of the game of broadcasting from the folks there you know Sharon Brooks and then just hanging out in the Gray Center Dr. Lloyd we just had a blast so well, we are really honored to be with you this evening, and I also do want to add, you did have a great jump shot. So. <laughs> I remember that as well. So congratulations from your entire Hastings College family. As always, it's a great day to be a Bronco. Thank you again for all of your service to our communities. Thanks so much, Dr. Lloyd. Great to see you, my friend. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Great to see you as well. All right. Let's wow. look, at, look at that again. <laughs> Distinguished <laughs> Alumni, yeah. Outstanding Alumni Award. That means a lot. Wow, that, that is, is fantastic. Oh, uh, Jerome's oh, going to get a, a close shot up of, of that. It, it was, um, I tell you what, I went to Hastings in, in 88. They had brought in Ronald Reagan. Yes, uh, to the Gray Center. To the Gray Center to commemorate the building. It, it had just been built. And then in 90, I got there, and it was just like, wow, this, this facility right, I bet. was fantastic. 
and uh, just had a great time. And you anchored the campus show. Yeah. What was it called? It was called Response News. Ooh. Yeah, at the, at the at the time there, and 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 I was just a goofy freshman, Never. 18, 19 year old kid. I wanted to do sports, tried out for the sports, and had a guy by the name of Ron Davis that was there that just encouraged me to to jump into this thing, and that's what I did. Oh, that's awesome. So it was fun. We actually have Thank another award for you. It's not as prestigious as that one but you've worked really hard for that. And so that is coming up later on in the show. And we were also going to have some people who would like to tell you they really wanted you to know that you are going to be missed. All right. Hi, Senator Deb Fisher here. Ben Sass here. Nebraska Attorney General Doug Peterson here. Just wanted to congratulate you. I remember when he was an athlete, uh, I get the Gazette, so I've known Seth uh, before he became a famous TV star. Uh, knowing both your parents, your father who passed away, and your mom, I know how proud they were of what you did there. Seth, congratulations on an outstanding media career, especially the last 20 years at NTV. You have been delivering the news to our farm families and Main Street businesses across the region. You've had a remarkable career in Nebraska media, spanning two decades. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck, and I know Nebraskans, including me, will be sad to see you no longer at NTV. You've obviously made a huge impact on our state and on a whole bunch of Nebraskans during your time with NTV. For a good while now, Colleen and you have been a great one-two combo. It's great that she's going to keep anchoring, but we'd all be lying if we didn't tell you that we're pretty bummed to see you go. But he's had a great career, and uh, I've always enjoyed getting a chance to see him whenever I've been there at the station. I consider him a friend. You have so much to be proud of. Seth, it's been a pleasure seeing you on our TV screens over the years. The NTV family and Central Nebraskans will miss seeing you on TV, but we sure do look forward to putting you and your paint crews back to work sometime soon. We wish you the best on your new adventure, and God bless and thanks again. I wish you all the best. You will be missed. Take care. Welcome back. My first station was KQ2 in St. Joseph. St. Joseph. I can still remember the first anchor who took me under her wings, Barbara McDonald, mm -hmm. and really took an, an, a vested interest in me. And I'm just curious if you had people along the way that helped you. Oh, absolutely. Sure did. Um, you know, I, when I started, um, I interned for, uh, in, for 1011 uh, under a guy in Grand Island by the name of Mike Cully. Mm -hmm. And Mike was, uh, I, he taught me how to shoot taught me how to hustle on reporting, taught me how to edit, and uh, now he's, he's out of the business too, but boy, he helped me out along the way. Dennis Kellogg out at yeah. KNLP. Unfortunately, I had to follow him as sports director at KNLP, <laughs> and Dennis was from North Platte, uh -huh, uh -huh. And, um, and had lived there for several years and was a successful, super successful sports director, and, but yet KNLP, the Carlini family said, Dennis, why don't you train young Seth here for a week or two? And so I f followed him around, watched how he worked, and Dennis was uh, a great mentor to me those few weeks I was around him. Oh, that's amazing. It's kind of mind-boggling when you think about all the people who have come and gone from the NTV newsroom during the time we've been here. Mm -hmm. But many have credited you with making a major impact, not just on their careers, but their life. Seth, you've been a leader at NTV for a long time. You did it by just being yourself, really taking a lot of 20-something-year-old kids green out of college and helping them uh, shape them into journalists and, you know, getting the most out of them, things that we didn't know we even had inside of us. Thank you for all that you've done for me, uh, for all of, the, all of the journalists who have come through the NTV halls, and, you know, your impact is, is felt around the country, really. Hi, Seth. Tower Gibbons here from New York City. It's Natalie Tavidian from California. Seth, you were one of my first mentors. Hi, Seth. It's free. Hello from Milwaukee, Seth. And also, the greatest advice I think you gave to everyone is that faith and family always come first. Any new graduate coming into the station was lucky to have you as a teacher. When I stepped off the plane in Kearney close to 20 years ago, you're one of the first people to welcome me with open arms. As a first-time reporter, Seth Denny taught me what on your talent should really be, authentic. Thank you so much for making me and everybody feel so welcome. You know, I just moved to Nebraska with no friends or family, and you really, really made me feel like I had a place welcome there. The very first time I uh, was live in the newsroom, I was nervous. And when it was over during the commercial break, he came up to me and he said, hey, 
means good job. And he definitely didn't need to say that. I was a green reporter. It wasn't that great of a job. But he took time to just say a few words of encouragement to give me confidence. And it meant so much. Also, I just want to say thank you for being a big role model in my life. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be pursuing my career as a news anchor. And having somebody like Seth is, is invaluable um, just behind the scenes. When it comes to Seth Denny, you were my number one and from inspiration right from the jump. I was straight out of Hastings College, home of knowledge, which, you know, we share. When it comes to being on air, I was struggling. And you looked at me, you took me aside, and you said, Marilyn, all you gotta do is be yourself. I'm a better storyteller, a better husband, a better dad for having known you. So thank you for just being the guy that you are and all my very best to you. But man, you made such an impact on me. Uh, you know, I'm forever grateful that I was able to start my career there in central Nebraska at MTV with you. Fine tuning my Husker reports and making sure I didn't get run out of town. Uh, or just, you know, have me over for a bite to eat. Um, all of it was much appreciated. When I first started at MTV, he was the first friend uh, that I made. And let's be honest, no one really wanted to be a friend with someone who just graduated from the University of Colorado. Maybe Seth didn't know that, or maybe he did. He's just a good enough guy. Uh, but he befriended me. Uh, we shared each other's faith, and we shared a very good friendship. You and Melissa welcomed me into your family, made me feel part of the family, which for, at the time, a young young guy whose family was, you know, a thousand miles away on the East Coast, uh, that was really special. I, I lift you up as an example to the boys. I have my own, my own boys now who are 11 and 8. Um, it's crazy to think about how time passes, but I hope you know the impact you've had on me and I'm sure it's so similar for the impact you've had on so many over these years. Oh, wow. Good we'll, stuff. We'll be right back. Hmm. Okay. I'm curious if you remember your first day. I do. Walking in. Walking. Uh, I walked in walk? from the front. Oh, uh-huh. And promptly locked my keys in the car. Oh no. Yeah, first day at NTV, 1999. <laughs> I the story. May 10th, May 11th, somewhere in there. Uh-huh. Uh, locked my keys in my car. A guy by the name of John McManus yes. uh, actually got the clothes hanger trick. And... I bet you didn't even want to tell anyone that it happened. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> Good old Johnny Mac. You Johnny know... Mac did it. But no, so that happened my very first day. Oh! But you start to think like these. This is the door you've been opening for like the last twenty. Oh yeah. Yeah. Years. Yeah. It's uh. This is the way. This is the way in. And That's the, right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Changes compared to when we both first started. This, this was, was a, a wall. A bank of monitors. And we had to take feeds. Doesn't that seem like a whole world ago? Yeah, we so we'd take satellite feeds. From ABC to get mm -hmm. national news and then from the Bureau. Yep, that's right. <laughs> now, of course, it's all Miranda's work and it's all on her computer yeah. now. I mean, it's they, just they get the it right cloud. there. It's in the cloud, the crazy cloud. I don't know what that means either. Do you remember there used to be a microphone right here? I do, and I think uh, we we do... Like, what would we order things off that? We would pretend that, like we worked at a drive-thru. Yes, that's right. That, that we worked at a drive-thru and, and, and crank that thing all down. so hard. Yeah. I need two burgers, yeah. mozzarella sticks, and a shake. This this one is a lot of cheese, <laughs> large fry, <laughs> Biggie Coke. <laughs> Your total comes to 355. <laughs> Change the Whopper to Whopper with cheese. <laughs> Do you remember when you pretended that you didn't know how to take a feed? That's right. To Nick? To, to Nick. Uh, he used to work here. And then, yeah. yeah. I don't remember exactly how that went, but yeah. We, <laughs> you we pretended to going. be an engineer and that you didn't know like how to rewind or put like these basic things. You, <laughs> right, that's you exactly right. You needed him to right. walk you through. <laughs> I got a technical question for you, bro. Oh, great. I hope I can answer well, it. Well, explain this time code uh, stuff to me um, back there in those edit closets or whatever they're called. Oh, the edit bays? Edit what? Edit bays? You hit that button for, for the code time. Yeah. 
and hit again, it'll be servo, which is control drag. Sir, sir, what? Servo. Oh, hey, do you remember that sir mix a lot, dude? <laughs> Your Poor desk Nick. was here. You shared with Marilyn at first. Then call. Then they said we should sit together. So Colleen was there. I yeah. was right there. None of these desks were. No. They, they was all around the perimeter. I mean, it looks. It looks so much legit. better. It looks legit. It However, looks I have fond memories of the way it was. You know. <laughs> That's right. The set. When you first started, we had all those little TV monitors. Actually. What was it? This desk was in the same place. It, the desk was in the same place. Yeah. Th this was carpet, though, back here. The, it was carpet. Yes. Gray carpet. Yes. With an NTV thing. And then they ushered that out, and then they brought in the, the little monitors. The monitors were the upgrade? Yes, they were. Yeah, they were. It was cool. It was cool back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Early 2000s was the monitors. This is a 70-year-old build. Oh, right? yeah. And there's a few remaining things you can tell from 1953. Some of the lights up top still say K-H-O-L. It's kind of neat it to have cool. just that little part of history still here. Yeah. This has always been your chair. I've always been on this side. And if one of us isn't here and they try to put me on your side, it feels weird. I need, I always have to be here. If, if I'm doing the nine solo and I'm sitting there, you know, yeah. it feels really weird. Okay, now here, there used to be a phone. Is it still here? No, I don't think so. What was that? There was a receiver like this that we could pick it up. It, you, you'd pick it up yeah. and, and call back to the producer back there. And we never did that. No, I mean, but we it was pretended. pretended to do that, yeah. I pretended to get viewer complaints when you did something Henri. And I'd be like, oh, we've got a call from, you know, whoever. Did something Henri, so that was a continual call. <laughs> <laughs> Can I uh, do a little walk and talk mm -hmm. with a um, an area of the building that I would like to show? Yeah. Would that be okay? Um, so, let's go right down the hall here. Let's do this. I want, I want our viewers to see the cool uh, control room here. Oh my gosh, yes! I mean, it's, it's, because it used to be here. Yeah, it, it, the it used to be, used right to be there. here. And we used to that have is, tapes. That's used now a, a cool studio green room. How long will they leave your pictures up, being that there's still a Peter Jennings poster in the conference room? Yeah. So. I'll bet you there's a team of people in lab coats on a oh. Thursday morning that take those <laughs> gonna, down immediately. Yes, you take <laughs> off your nameplate. So this is the cool, I love this. Yeah. This is fantastic. I mean, this is uh, real high-end stuff here. And we're getting ready for the show there in Kenton at his home. Oh, he looks good. That's great. So we're getting ready for a show. That's coming up real yeah. quick. Let me show one quick thing, though, Matt, that I want to show down, down the hall here. When I started, this room says storage now. Oh, we well, you know what it was. Back in the day, uh -huh. this was a, a room called a smoke smoking room. room. And it per look, you can still see like soot <laughs> from all the cigarettes, all the camels. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. This is definitely worthy of being on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh -huh. this, this place has meant a lot to me for 22 years. Yep, pretty cool. Pretty cool to think about. These are our hard hats from when ice came through. <laughs> That's they right. They commemorated them <laughs> from the great ice storm. Oh, oh yeah. this is like a redo of when they moved the art. That's right. We have been through a lot. We have indeed. And now we have a show like in three minutes. Let's, Let's go. do it. <laughs> Came on. Thanks, Matt. Thank you much. <laughs> All right. That was fun. That was fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so a lawsuit. Women not making as much as men. And rocky weather. Kent's got the latest. Seth, you're looking good. <laughs> the news is next. And good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. Steve White joins us now live with more. And Steve, and Steve, no, Steve, in fact, is not there. Nice. Giddy up. Here we go. Thanks, Steve. Let's turn to sports. What are you doing, oh, God. Dave? I didn't realize that's where we were at. Yeah, are that's where we're at. I, honestly, this honestly, material? I'm just thinking this. I, did, I had no idea. Well, Seth and Colleen, we're going to toss it back to you.
Uh, not so fast, Wait, Andrea. Yeah, does, does, tell us more. No, we're just kidding. Does that snow <laughs> hurt? I mean, is it hurting your face or what is um, it? It's very cold and my hands are very stiff right now. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Looks like we're having camera problems. all set over no, there. No, our camera's having injuries. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we zoom in a smidge? What do you say? On the season. He's the worst. He's absolutely the worst. I can't handle Seth Denny. Don't be sad, Dave. You've got a kerchief. Oh, Dave, he did. Dave, we, <laughs> we appreciate the sports. I, I, I'm sorry if there's mic problems. Long lines of uh, porta potties as well, <laughs> according to Marilyn Barnett's crack reporting. That's right. Oh, was that a pun? No, no it, it wasn't. wasn't. How you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Designated hitter entering camp. He was signed on the hit. <laughs> Get, back in. Get back in there. Get back in there. <laughs> Did I bore you much? No, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. And we'll be right back. Do you want to take this? You're looking live. You're looking live as, as we continue Seth. celebrating. <laughs> 22 me. years, yes. Okay, we've reached the blooper portion of our show, oh, ladies man. and gentlemen. We've all picked out our favorites. We're going to start with Dave. Well, back in November of 2014, I made an incorrect statement about the current Catholic girls not having to contend oh, with me. Oh, yeah. Did. And uh, I was wrong. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> As the representative of Minden, Seth Denny, you go ahead and stuff that baby right in my face because it is well deserved. Okay, well deserved. Here we go, go. Denny. Right there, buddy. Uh, there go. The dust go. Your pocket square. Use it. <laughs> Finally, a use for the square. Never. I would never ruin such a thing. There you go, Denny. <laughs> it was ruined. Though, it wasn't was it ruined? Wait a minute. We'll be right back. Oh. Your suit got ruined? That suit got ruined. I never could wear it again. Why don't you put whipped cream everywhere on it? Well, then it and could have been a new was, designer. Yes. That's right. I mean, right. compared to oh, stuff you've wow. worn, Dave. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> that was back in the day when you probably bought more expensive suits, too. Well, I learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I fired that with gusto, right? Uh, yeah, you did. Face, and then dude. I did it again at the end of the show, so yeah. that didn't oh, help any. Okay. Uh, there was also a time where Seth did a vital sign story about eating healthy or trying yeah. to limit your sugar intake, and okay. I decided, hey, during this story, I'm going to run to the back, grab some donuts from the box, and Seth may have overreacted. Overreacted, okay. <laughs> All right. Tips there. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> Good heavens, what is this? Did I miss something? What are these? This is the foolish. Donuts? The foolish. Dozen. Dozen of donuts or something. Oh I'm not just talking about something that's not important here. See this is important wow. stuff, Dave. No, no, no. Don't eat that. Take camera three and see if we can see the donut. Uh, <laughs> we never did see the donut again, but that was oh, a heck of an accurate man. swipe. I seemed like I was really into that. You eating healthy, and you were one to <laughs> eat donuts. Been, yeah. That had a hidden gem. Did I miss something? <laughs> 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 Knowing we just talked about healthy eating. Oh, That's right. Man. Uh, okay, so I've worked at other stations where management, they never want you to acknowledge if something has gone wrong mm. on screen or off screen. Let's just say I'm super grateful. That's not the case here at NTV. Here's my favorite blooper. Police also believe that the vehicle was stolen. How much time do we have for that laser? I didn't have that. Hey, here's the deal. If we're on air, you can't you just yell get... one minute. <laughs> <laughs> you heard anything like That's that? Great. That's great. That was funny. full volume. Oh, well, if we could have a minute Ratchet of your time. <laughs> Temperatures uh, warm tonight. <laughs> We now have 30 seconds, 59 at 8 a.m., 66 at noon. Razor, how much time When now? we get a 15, you need to give us full volume of 15 come seconds. Come on, here. Come on. Say hi. Here, come on. Need to see say hi. There he is. Right how here. much time do That's we have? Johnny the Razor. <laughs> Johnny the Razor. One minute. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was great. Stuff. Oh, good old Johnny the Razor. Yeah. He's great. Um, and he reached out this week too, just a super dude. Uh, let me think now. Uh, yeah. My favorite. Um, so when Kent, th this was great. One of the things. <laughs> one of the things we we do here 
And, and you need to be a lot about this, Colleen, is I try to get reporters to do something they may not want to do. Well, Live. Live. <laughs> My uh, b favorite blooper is when Kent was live <laughs> several years ago on campus, and we thought we'd get him to do something. He wouldn't want to do it, but he wanted to do it. He oh, yeah. fully did it. Here we go. 83 on Tuesday, 78 on Wednesday, 78 Thursday and Friday. I got a bunch of girls uh, practicing their cheers. And I think they're really cheering about this great weather, Seth and Colleen. You turn yes. around and tell those young ladies to pipe it down. We're oh. trying to do serious business hey, pipe here. pipe it down. We're trying to do a live deal here. <laughs> Did you, you see the look on them. their face? Turn around. <laughs> tell them oh, you're kidding. Oh, that was priceless. Shame on him. him. <laughs> I didn't think he'd do it. You don't have to twist my arm at all to do that. Oh. That was the greatest anything, out really. cue. Yeah. I didn't think he'd do it. <laughs> right. Those poor girls. Oh, those were you were right away you felt bad for the girls. That was nice color. You didn't. I, you didn't. I didn't. That was pretty good. It worked too. They they didn't have a clue what was going on. <laughs> they shut up, they ran. I'm yeah, sure, I'm sure. They, they left the building. Kit Listen, Bouton tells them. Sure. Yeah, your favorite blue for uh, Kent. My favorite, uh, Seth did the weather. And of course, this is a YouTube sensation. I was ordered by my doctors not to go down in the jungle of Mexico, turkey hunting. I did so anyway. <laughs> Monkeys do something in the water that creates a virus, which I got. I ended up in the hospital, but the rest is history because Seth was priceless doing first alert weather. And that's coming up right after this. <laughs> By far one of the most iconic gold TV moments that ever happened was when Seth did the weather. <laughs> well, see, this is interesting uh, because I'm not the weather guy. Already, I am laughing at the beginning because not only is he having to fill in with no time to prepare, but the weather computer is frozen. Trying to convey to some folks that we need the weather computer up and running, and we don't have it up and running right now, but I can tell you this. Talked about how cold it was in Winnipeg. Uh, 43 Rapid City, 41. Who would live in Winnipeg, by the way? What? What? Why would you go there? A description of the big H's and the big L's. You can see in our uh, national features map, uh, lots of L's and H's. Oh man, look at him. His laugh when the producer told him in his ear that he still had two more minutes to fill after he'd already done about three minutes of weather. Tomorrow, really decent, 38. <laughs> Did you hear what she just said? Two minutes, all right. My favorite memory, as you recall, was when we did that blooper video. I could hear, there we go. Looking fit as a fiddle now. Holy Moses, 50 miles per hour. Wind gusts tomorrow, so if it's a picnic lunch, nail down the uh, uh, potato chips. Who would live in Winnipeg, by the way? What, what why would you go there? Arguably the best part of the whole Seth does the weather thing is the reaction that it got. The views on YouTube are viral-esque. And not only do we get comments and people going, hey, can Seth do the weather again? We also had memes. And just the amazing response to something that really wasn't even supposed to happen. This <laughs> is what we're going to be looking for. Boy, I got to hold on a second. Let me button the jacket. Who is that back there? Good job. We got about a, a team and a half of folks back there. It's Hyannis, by the way. It's not uh, uh, that other. Yeah. Remember? A guy who spent half of his life on television. The one thing people always say is my favorite thing he ever did was the weather. Take that for what you will. Uh, looking at Ainsworth and Valen. We moving through pretty quick at this point. I'm not even pushing the button at this point. We're just flying through. And you know what that means? I don't either. I really don't.
<laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, we're man. glad you were okay, but yes. there was oh, really just really. minutes. Yeah, for there you was. to get ready. Yeah, there was, and then I forgot the computer. The weather was computer all wasn't working, up. and we, there was a gaggle of, of men and women back there trying to punch buttons. <laughs> and, and poor Kent was, you know, in the car. In the car. Oh, oh yeah, man. in the parking lot. I had no idea. I knew I was witnessing something great. But I didn't know how, how good <laughs> and how much people would love it. Spontaneity. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. so you know how I always tease you, Seth, that we're going to get a call from the Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce. Right, yes. Okay, we didn't. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. But we did get this. And now, a message from the capital of the Canadian province of Manitoba. The mayor of Winnipeg, the Honorable Mayor Bowman. Hi Seth, this is Mayor Brian Bowman in Winnipeg, Canada. I heard you were retiring, and so I wanted to send you some well wishes. Just like you, I enjoy trying new things from time to time. So in this spirit, I wanted to use technology to give you a forecast of sorts on your retirement options. And I heard you were questioning, why would anyone want to live in Winnipeg? Well, you could look at Time's annual list of the world's greatest places for 2021. If you're going to retire, might as well retire to one of the world's greatest places, right? Uh, is there any place in Nebraska that made the list? No? Uh, that's a shame. Nebraska, uh, Nebraska, where, where are we? Um, can we, can we get that up on the screen? Uh, all right, there you are, Nebraska, beautiful Nebraska. Well, what's your greatest export again? That's right. Winnipeg Jets defenseman Neil Pionk is from Omaha, and we couldn't be happier that we were able to import him from Nebraska. In all seriousness, Seth, I want to wish you all the very best in your retirement from everybody here in Winnipeg. If you ever get the chance to visit us, I'd love to show you around in February. Happy retirement. So good. Oh, How awesome. great is that? I guess huh? you got something to look forward to. I guess January. so. I guess so. That guy's funny. He's too. funny. Mayor Bowman. I yeah. vote for him. No Absolutely. doubt. Tremendous. <laughs> great stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I saw a lot of the sports guys losing their hair over the years, and uh, I am also losing my hair. Okay. Well, this guy, that's why you got out of sports. Was Your hair keeps the hair. hair uh, and Seth is famous for his hair, and now here is the honor of a lifetime. Oh, wow. Hey everyone, my name is Shayla Brisbane and I am the campus team leader here at Joseph's College of Cosmetology, Kearney Campus. On behalf of myself and everyone here at Joseph's, we would like to happily present Seth Denny with this Lifetime Achievement Award of the best hair on television for the last 20 years. Thank you, Seth, and we appreciate you so much. We hope this next chapter of your life is fantastic. Thank, Thank you, Seth! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! Wow, uh, that is an honor there. There you go. Uh, they hit, keep coming. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's wow. Great. What an honor. Man, no yeah. kidding. If you can just leave that on your desk when you walk out, I'll yeah, take it. Really? Yeah, okay. Maybe. You need his hair gel. Or that it's magic. Too. Whatever it is. Or his hair. Yeah. All of it. Please. <laughs> please. No, We're talking about the hits. The hair. Keep coming. I am pleased to introduce Ginger Ten Bensel with the world debut of her soon-to-be hit song, "Good Luck." Yeah. Oh, Jim. Well, Seth, we just want to thank you so much for being so wonderful and having such a major impact on so many people's lives. We appreciate what you've done, and we look forward to the things you're going to do in the future. Colleen asked me to write a special song for you, and this is how it goes. Well, I live in a state where Seth Denny's on TV, and you can watch him every weekday night with Thank you, you very much. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow, she's great. 
thank you very much. And we have one final clip now, Seth, for you. Actually, we have two. Here you go. And in a time when people are really looking for news they can trust, the hometown TV anchor is the most trusted person that people seek in times like these. People love watching Seth Denny on TV. How's it going, Steve, so far? I'm doing really well, I think, here. Watching Seth Denny bring us the news is like hearing from a friend each and every day. It's like your best friend telling you what happened over the weekend. These stories matter to us because you matter to us. And he's such a good example of telling a story in a way everyone can understand, and I really appreciate that. Great local coverage matters, and you and your team were top notch. All these years that you guys have been together on this team, I thought, wow, what an awesome broadcasting team. Um, just to have a guy who's just a genuine, decent, hardworking guy, I don't know. I don't know if the, the viewers of Central Nebraska fully appreciate um, the team that we've been able to have and, and set as the anchor of that. I mean, his job title is the anchor, but really is the anchor in a lot of ways of that team that has been so consistent and delivering the news for so long. Everybody, I think, that knows Seth or has ever met Seth knows he's an even better person than he is an anchor, and he's an awesome anchor. Uh, you are, without a doubt, you know, one of the best anchors I ever had the pleasure of working with. We just had a great time. Whether you're making fun of me for my coats. Hold on a sec there. Get you all straight there. There you go. My tie knots or anything else, something I said and you got to shove a pie in my face. You brought fun and enjoyment and humor to the workplace. That is a big ditto of what Dave just said. It is remarkable to think how well we all just fit. The thing I've always admired about Seth is his professionalism and never wavering when there's pressure or when things go awry on the set. And he demonstrates that he uh, cares about the community in which he lives and the community in which he serves, and, and that means a lot to people. Seth is just a great guy all around. Uh, what you get on air is what you get behind the scenes, um, and it's just been it's just been so great working with him. Just always enjoyed all of our interactions, whether we're talking Huskers, whether we're talking about basketball, doesn't matter what. Always enjoyed my time working with you. You were, without a doubt, um, one of the kindest, most like genuine that. people that I had ever met. He takes care of his friends, he takes care of his co-workers, he takes care of his family. Um, would absolutely do anything for anyone. A um, couple of things that I really appreciate about Seth is that he has a very strong moral compass, but along with that, he has a great sense of humor. Uh, but really, man, we are just so grateful for Seth and for your uh, integrity, for your godliness in that sphere of influence. And you've been just such a blessing to our ministry, the Todd Becker Foundation. And of course, I'll miss the fun and the laughter he brings to the newsroom. But on the other side of things, I'll miss his wisdom in the newsroom as well. Just wanted to say congratulations on the change. Change. You've always been such a grinder and put so much time and effort into being at the top of your game for both your endeavors. And now to be able to slow down a little bit and just focus on one, very happy for you. I just wanted you to know, Seth, that despite my dead pan nature, <laughs> it was fun working with you. And you're going to be missed around here. I don't think anyone can fill your shoes too easily. I think one of the things I'm going to miss the most about Seth is just his goofiness and just how carefree he can be sometimes and just bring such a good vibe to the newsroom. I just want to wish Seth good luck. Congratulations on an impressive career. Hey Seth, I just want to say that you were an absolute joy to work with during my time at NTV. Thank you so much for that. And I sure hope that you won't be retiring your signature red blazer or your excellent weatherman skills anytime soon. Wishing you all the best. But I really enjoyed our time on Ask a Doc in which uh, viewers would call in or write in uh, questions they had. Could we see the next slide, please? It all began back in 1988 in McCook when you and I did the KICX Sports Roundup, that scoreboard show with Dave Cool, and look what your career went from then to now. Best of wishes to you, Suther, in your new ventures with your paint company. Bye. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Colleen, for putting all that together, all the work and everything. 
uh, uh, thank you to uh, the viewers, uh, first of all. Uh, you've been nothing but kind uh, to me and my family, and I want to thank you so much for being loyal to NTV, uh, low these many, many years before me and long after me as well. So thank you. You're the best uh, viewers, I would say, out there, and so I want to thank you for that. Uh, I want to thank my friends here on the set, Colleen and Kent and Dave, um, have been like family to me through the years, and we've gone through a lot of ups and some downs too, and so thanks so much to to them. They they mean everything to me, and, and we'll continue to be great friends through the years. I um, want to also thank the people behind the scenes here at NTV. For many years, we've had so many people punching the buttons and making sure the audio's <laughs> right and everything, and thank you so much. We've had wonderful people back there and in, in this current newsroom right now. Thank you so much. I want to thank um, our bosses, too. Matt Wiesner has been a good friend of mine for a number of years, and Vinny, Vince Barres, he's our general manager. They've always been tremendous to my family and to me as well. So thank you, Vinny, and, and uh, Wheezy as well. So thank you so much. Um, I want to, at this time, thank, uh, thank my family and, and acknowledge my family. Um, uh, of course, uh, Jenna is our oldest. We're going to show them we now. We have a video. We got a video. Okay, let's, ta let's take a look at this. Hey, Dad. It's me, Josie, and Jax. And we're here to congratulate you on a rockin' career on the news. You've done such an awesome job. I've seen you on TV since I was literally born, and you are by far the best news anchor I've seen. And that is not biased, but we love you so much. We're thankful for all you've done for us, and we can't wait to have you at home every night. Love you so much, Dad. Dad, congrats on such a great career at NTV. It's been great watching you on the news ever since I was younger. Um, I'm sure a lot of viewers across the state will definitely miss you. And that's a true testament to your character. Who you've been on screen is definitely who you are off. Such a great role model to me, Jenna and Josie, and um, really admire that. So um, happy retirement. Hi, Dad. Congrats on such an awesome career. I have absolutely loved being able to grow up and watch you on TV, and um, it definitely will be weird not seeing you there, but I'm just so happy that you're going to have free time. Um, something that I think is super cute and kind of funny is that I remember being in kindergarten and just telling everybody that I would meet that you're my dad, and like five, five-year-olds don't even watch the news, so why was I telling them that? But I was just always so proud of you, and I still am. I always will be. But... I just wanted to say thank you for being so genuine on and off TV and just being such an example for me. Um, so happy retirement, and I'm so happy that you're going to be able to get to relax now. Love you. So they're quite a crew. They're quite a crew. Yeah. Bring them on up. Yeah, Come bring on. them on up. We got uh, my best friend in the whole wide world, Jack's the dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's just our dog, really. Uh, so Josh, Josie, Jenna, and the love of my life, Melissa, we've been married 25 years. Thanks so much for coming out and for your love and support through these many years. Now, we don't need you crying. This is about me tonight. <laughs> this, is about, this is my deal tonight. Don't try and steal this thing. So... Uh, yeah, that's the whole crew. I want to quickly, uh, Colleen, thank uh, a couple other folks. Chris Wagner, uh, behind the scenes, is just uh, such a been a wonderful friend and support and through the years. So we need Razor to give us a time cue. How much time do we have left? And say it in full volume, Jeremy. Go so as long as you want. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you. This has been wonderful. Thank you, Colleen, for putting this all together, and uh, thank you for just the hours spent and your friendship, obviously, as well. Um, with one more, thank you. Uh, so a guy that nobody knows out here. His name is John Hofer. He's been bothering me for a shout out for 14 years. He works on our painting crew. He's a wonderful guy, but there's your shout out, John. Get off me. You're yeah, fine. There's a, there never. it is, now or never. So thanks so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. And more than anything, the, the fun that you brought to this place, I can't even put it into words. 
especially now because I might start crying. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I wrote some things down because I, I just, I, I love that you know how to, that you know all the words to the Bridge Street Auto rap <laughs> 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 and sing to commercials. I'll miss that a lot. Okay. But we basically, I feel like we've spent almost our whole adult lives together. Yeah. And we've celebrated births of our kids and losses. We both lost our dad, Lori Opgeiker. And we've just always been there for each other, and that means the world to me. It was a true partnership, always. Yep, it was. Yep. Thank you, Colleen. And I said I wouldn't get choked <laughs> up, but you're such a good friend, and mm. you've been there for me, and you're always opening the door for those terrible puns. <laughs> I'm going to miss that. <laughs> we, <laughs> we need to get like a corny joke. The viewers. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Kent. It's been wonderful. Thank you, Colleen. All right. We love you. We love you. Appreciate you, bud. Appreciate you. Thanks so much, viewers. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful night. about someone who was very special to me, a dear, dear friend, Scott Denny. And Scott, I just, what? Oh, oh, right. Okay, well, it's been a while. I think they can edit this out. I don't know how you did it, man. You went from a little guy who made the most three-pointers in the Nebraska basketball, like C5 game, to the guy who stayed at NTV the longest out of anybody on air. I worked with him. I uh, worked for him on the paint crew, so I, probably a good portion of Denny Payne's success. Um, so I'm partly to blame for him leaving in TV and I do apologize for that. And uh, happy to see you soar off into the sunset and retire, otherwise known as painting for a living. Uh, what I really have wondered all these years is, is that hair real? And now I understand that as it's gotten a little grayer and a little older, it isn't the thickness that bothers me so much, it's that it's always in place and it looks so good. As you begin your new career as a full-time painter, I'd be glad to uh, give you a reference if you want to come and paint my house for free. Just kidding. If you need some help painting, I'd be more than glad to help you out. Uh, I do paint well within the lines, but I only use crayons, so just so you know that. Last year, he also painted our house. Did a great job. We get a lot of great comments. So, Seth, TV will miss you. We'll miss watching you on TV. But I know this. Our house looks great. And I'm still going to call you on Thanksgiving Eve. Three, two, one. I can't believe this day has come. Seth Denny officially saying goodbye to the news desk. I worked with Colleen in the late 90s when Seth first started in NTV. Wow, that was a really long time ago. I just want to wish Seth good luck. Congratulations on an impressive career at NTV. Hey Seth, best of luck to you in your next adventure. NTV's losing a good one. Hey Seth, I hear you're leaving NTV. I'm sure the viewers are sad to see you go, but you had tremendous leadership out in that part of the world for so long. SD, this is uh, president of the Queen Play Club checking in. I uh, heard you getting out of there, but overall, um, just want to say thank you for everything you've done for me and countless others across that community. Well, good day, Seth. This is my little token farewell video to you. Um, want to thank you for the times that we've worked together over the last, uh, I don't know, 100,000 years. I just wanted you to know, Seth, that despite my dead pan nature, <laughs> it was fun working with you. And you're going to be missed around here. I don't think anyone can fill your shoes too easily. It was a pleasure being a colleague of yours. A pleasure seeing you on the air for all these years. Your family's great. Your painting business is great. And I want to wish you the very, very best of luck. In the future, if you ever need anything, you know where to find me. Hi, Seth. It's Asia. I'm so excited about your news and congratulations. I know you'll do well, but I know the NTV team will definitely miss you. Good luck. Hey Seth, I just want to say that you were an absolute joy to work with during my time at NTV. Thank you so much for that. And I sure hope that you won't be retiring your signature red blazer or your excellent weatherman skills anytime soon. Wishing you all the best. Hey, hey, it's Bick with Hits 106, former NTVer from the mid to late 2000s. 
So what are NTV viewers going to miss the most about Seth Denny? Well, honestly, I think it comes down to three things. One, the hair. Two, the hard-hitting follow-up questions. And three, definitely the jokes. And I just wanted to say thanks for all the help you provided me when I was in Nebraska. I miss our conversations, whether it was about college football, about life, whatever the topic was. It was always a great conversation. Hey, Seth, Casey Marler here. Congratulations on an amazing television career. I have so many great memories of our time together. And like basketball, the YMCA. Come on, big man. Hey, good luck in your future endeavors. Heard you're leaving the squad, but uh, always remember those early days of meeting you and Colleen, uh, sunny, wind, rain, whatever. The show did go on. And it sounds like he's retiring, but he'll never slow down. Uh, Seth has got, uh, once he puts his eye on something and wants to do something, he's all in. Uh, we saw that at KNLP, and obviously your viewers saw that in TV. You were nothing but kind and a great mentor to me. I wish you the best of luck, and I miss you. Congratulations on your retirement from news. I will never forget how fortunate I was to have had the pleasure to work with you when I was a producer. You were always so kind, helpful, and funny, and of course, never without your trusty electric shaver. Sether, I've got multiple nicknames. People call me Polly, Perk, Perky. You're the only one that calls me Paul. Um, Steve Arino would be the one that I would hear. Johnny the Razor. You always called me Rito, so the nickname always stuck, even on the telly. You would always introduce me as South Florida's finest, and little do you know that always made me feel at home. I do know that I call people by nicknames that Seth has come up with, and former NTVers, some of them, I didn't really know their name because that's what they went by. So I definitely know they stick. Hey Seth, Joe LePage here, former NTVer and Denny Painting employee. Heard you're retiring, hanging up the makeup tray and the IFB thing. Glad to hear you're choosing family. That's awesome, man. Hey, best of luck in the future. Take care. Thanks for all the memories and the great advice and for giving me a job with the paintbrush. Um, I remember the time, Seth, where we were painting a red barn. I can't remember where it was, but it was oil-based paint and you had had some on your face and you cleaned it up, I think with mineral spirits, washing your face with mineral spirits and you broke out, I don't know if you remember this, you broke out into this red rash, you showed up for the news and your face was not red from the paint, but all red from this rash that you got. And I think we all burst out laughing, <laughs> realizing, well, Seth's not going on tonight. I was like, um, Seth, I, I think I erased vital signs. And you're like, you, you're joking, right? <laughs> not, not in a mean way. You thought I was actually joking, and I had to be, I had to say, no, I, I erased it. <laughs> and you're like, all right, let's get her done. And you, your hands were moving like bumblebees through a garden as you worked the tape-to-tape -tape editing. Uh, one of my good Seth stories, and this wasn't just uh, limited to one time, but uh, back when we would do Sports Extra, uh, come in on Friday nights and, and try to put that show together, uh, get ready for the half hour of high school sports right after uh, the newscast, uh, we would have what was called a score taker. He would take the phones and, and enter those scores into the ticker that would scroll across the bottom and throughout the show. And we were just swamped answering phone calls and taking scores, writing them down so we can put them on TV. And he would call and if you didn't know sports, you were in trouble. Seth, uh, being the jokester he is, would occasionally call in with just some random scores of, of teams that maybe shouldn't have been in there. So we would uh, occasionally see when we're sitting out on the desk doing sports extra, a, a Funk versus Odessa uh, 25 to 13. Every time we'd see that, we always knew Seth Denny had struck.